Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Friday, January 31st. I'm James Spann. The warm-up continues today with low 50s and rain at times before the weekend is over. Let's go in there and take a look at the water vapor satellite view. A clear difference. Instead of the big trough in the east, in the ridge in the west, we have a zonal flow. That means uh, some fast-paced weather changes. Make it uh, makes life interesting for us, but clearly the warm-up continues through the weekend, and that's good. And this is good. Not as cold as yesterday morning. You know, uh, the coldest spot in the state was five below zero yesterday at Black Creek. This morning, mostly 20s on the board. Uh, Anniston, 20. Birmingham, 26. Look at the shoals. They've got 37 as uh, clouds have increased up there and the winds have picked up as well. We are watching with great interest. New surge of very cold air coming down across the Canadian border. But remember, the upper air winds are blowing from west to east. That will carry the bulk of that east and not south. So the warming trend continues here through Sunday. There's a watch warning map. Winter weather issues to the north. Chicago under a winter storm watch. Winter weather advisories for cities like St. Louis and Kansas City. Winter storm warnings out of parts of Colorado as a new system will be lifting out. That'll bring some uh, rain in here by Sunday, but no snow this time. Here's the uh, QPF chart. This is the expected rain for the next five days. It's valid through Wednesday morning of next week. The bullseye about three and a half inches over Tennessee. And down this way, this is suggesting maybe some two-inch rains for the northern part of the state. Uh, this counts the rain we'll get Sunday and the rain with the dynamic system late Tuesday and Tuesday night. Take a look at the maps here. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 12 noon today at 500 millibars. You can see the energy out west. And down below that, around here, the day will be dry. We'll call it partly sunny with low 50s. That'll feel great. The rem remaining ice on those shaded side streets should fade away later today. All right, this is tomorrow. At uh, midday, you can see Chicago could see a pretty good snow here if this is right. Uh, Chicago up toward Grand Rapids, maybe Detroit. Uh, but down here, it looks pretty dry. And again, I, I don't think we can say there's no chance of rain, but any showers should be relatively widely spaced. And the high should be in the upper 50s as we keep nudging the numbers up out of the deep freeze. Now, this is Sunday. A cold front is approaching from the north. Now, the main surface low, that thing's over in eastern Canada. A uh, pretty good little pop of colder air pushing that thing south. And as the cold front eases in here Sunday, that should bring showers. Uh, I don't think the rain will be especially heavy. I don't think it rains all day, but it clearly will rain at times on Sunday. And a pretty good chance we reach 60. In fact, the uh, NAM is blowing us up to 67. The GFS is at 60, which is probably more realistic. Now, this is Monday of next week. The uh, air dries out temporarily. It could be some lingering rain, maybe your showers, maybe Monday morning, but possibly Monday afternoon and Monday night will be, uh, will be dry. Again, the Europeans still trying to put down this strip of snow over Tennessee and Kentucky with this uh, weekend feature. The big numbers are up north around Chicago, and I'm not totally sure that happens, but again, here there, there is no chance of snow this weekend. Again, the rumors are flying and... Uh, it's going to take some time to put those to bed, probably due to the forecast bust we had here this last week. But again, there is no empirical evidence, none, of any snow here this weekend. Let's go to Tuesday of next week. There we go. Very dynamic system coming through in the southern stream. It's going negative tilt. And down below that, a surface slow begins to fire up to the uh, uh, east of the state. And uh, again, during the day Tuesday, uh, winds would likely pick up. A warm front passes through. There's clearly a chance of showers on Tuesday, and we should soar into the 60s again. The GFS showing 65. This is Tuesday night at midnight. 1,004 millibar low that's near Cincinnati with a trailing front. 
and a band of thunderstorms uh, moving into uh, northwest Alabama. Looks like the main window will be probably after midnight for the stronger storms, which, of course, is good, and that's a time when the air is relatively stable. And then this is midday Wednesday. The uh, storms, the showers and storms are off to the east, windy and turning sharply colder. And uh, this could be a day of falling temperatures if this is right. Uh, just for the fun of it, we'll take a look at the instability uh, parameters for Tuesday night at midnight, and there's basically none, which is one of the main reasons we think there's no severe weather threat here. But, hey, look at the shear values. This is the bulk shear down in the very low levels between the surface and 925 millibars, and there's 30 knots of bulk shear down here, and that certainly would support organized and sustained updrafts. So could there be strong storms late Tuesday night or early Wednesday morning? Yes, but uh, the chance of severe weather with those parameters at this point look rel relatively small. Uh, and again, this is Thursday of next week. Uh, cool and dry high would be probably in the upper 40s, lows, maybe upper 20s. There is no empirical evidence in here of any snow again, despite the rumors that you might hear. Friday, start to warm up a little bit. Temperature should be seasonal. Highs in the 50s and lows in the 30s. But it's an active pattern here. Let's go to Saturday the 8th. It's a big trough west of the state. And again, uh, this is another deal where we'll have to watch for strong, maybe severe storms in advance of that uh, system and the associated surface cold front. Now, this is in the land of voodoo, okay? You know, this is the hip new thing to do on the Internet to show these maps. I show them here, yes, but I think we've been doing these videos for 10 years. You know, in most days, you know, most times of the year, we don't have this sexy stuff like snow and tornadoes. And I think our longtime users understand how to use these. Uh, we're just looking for persistence. This is not a forecast. But uh, the consistency and the idea of a significant storm is very good out here. And if that's right, again, that could be a setup for strong, maybe severe storms. And then this is Sunday the 9th. Very cold air rushes in behind that. And there's a chance of snow flurries back in the cold air. But again, you know, people are saying there's two, three feet of snow coming here. There's just no evidence at all to support that. Nothing more than flurries. But that is a very windy and cold look. And on January 12th, another rain producer comes in. Now, this one is a lower latitude system. And if you're, you know, if you're looking for a look for snow, that would be your better look. But even that would suggest if we had any, that would be to the north. And again, this is no forecast. We're just looking at model output beyond seven days, which is not a way to forecast the weather. There's no skill out here. But the idea in an active pattern with pretty frequent storm systems, yes, that's very valid. And then on the 13th, more uh, colder air moves in here. And this is the end of the forecast, the 15th of February out there at mid-month, troughing over the east. And that's pretty cold looking. So uh, it's going to be a very active and interesting pattern here for the next 15 days. But again, no sign at all right now of any big snow event. Um for Alabama. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.